Other news from a private jet to Miami and $15,000 in cash to a guilty plea. That's right. Uh, the legal, lengthy legal saga centered around former Cincinnati Councilman Jeff Pastor appears to be coming to an end. WLWT News 5's investigative reporter Todd Dykes is here with more on this case. Todd, uh, what's the ending here? Well, it's, it's been quite a process. We've been following it from day one, no question about it. Federal prosecutors say that Jeff Pastor devised a scheme to defraud people who call Cincinnati home and make himself richer at the same time. By signing this plea agreement, Pastor agrees with what the feds are saying. Well, it's very sad. David Mann has had a bird's eye view of federal corruption cases that have left the political careers of three former colleagues on Cincinnati City Council in shambles. I had the privilege of serving at City Hall for uh, 26 years, if you can believe that, and I never experienced in that time anything like uh, three of uh, my colleagues uh, ended up being guilty of public corruption. The latest shoe to drop is this plea agreement signed by Jeff Pastor, who served as a councilman from 2018 to 2020. Pastor admits he committed one count of honest services wire fraud. Federal prosecutors say that means Pastor accepted bribes in exchange for making moves on council that benefited undercover agents posing as investors in local development projects. In the fall of 2018, Pastor acknowledges taking a private jet to Miami where he agreed to accept $15,000 in cash in exchange for a favorable political decision. While disappointed that Pastor, along with former council members P.G. Sittenfeld and Tamaya Denard, had been found to have deceived the public, David Mann is not shocked. It's not unique to Cincinnati. It's not unique to this country. Uh, public officials end up with power, or if they use that in any way, to reward based on uh, friendship, based on uh, return uh, uh, gifts or return support. That's when you uh, go down the path of problems. The best safety valve is the public scrutiny that comes from engaged citizens and the media, engaged media. Now, as part of the plea deal, Jeff Pastor has to give back $15,000 to the feds. That's equal to the amount of money he got as part of his illegal activity. The agreement also stipulates that Pastor will face a maximum of two years in prison. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. Now, Todd, we know the federal judge overseeing uh, Jeff Pastor's case has to sign off on a plea agreement here. Now, do you know when that will happen? Yeah, we learned some new information on that late this afternoon. U.S. District Judge Matthew McFarland has uh, scheduled a change of plea hearing. That'll be one week from today, and he has options at that hearing. Judge McFarland can accept a plea deal as is. He can reject it or take more time to review all the evidence that investigators have uncovered, and we'll certainly be covering it next week. All right, Todd, thanks.